The word is truth. <laughs> the word is truth. And I feel like we are so bombarded by truth and lies all day long. Truth and lies, truth and lies, truth and lies, truth and lies. So we have to figure out, okay, is that truth or is that a lie? And so the way that we do that is through the Holy Spirit. He is the one that helps us discern truth from lies. But it is, it is massive starting last year and into this year. It's just massive. Just, I guess this is running. Anyway, so it's just kind of massive. And so I just wanted to talk about some... Um, truth scriptures tonight and remember where our truth is also our truth is in God's Word so that's a great source too when um, you don't know whether people are lying or whether they're telling the truth God's Word is always a good source but a lot of what is going on right now with truth and lies is in God's Word, too. And uh, is this time, you know, these end days. We're in the end days. So I have my Pray for Revival t-shirt on, uh, Harvest America, because I'm always praying for revival. We need revival, but we need truth, too. You know, um, I think a lot of the lies that we have been told lately, they don't even make sense anymore. And so, through the Holy Spirit, discernment from the Holy Spirit, we can figure out what is truth and what is lies. And truth always rises to the top. It always comes out, or that's been my experience. The truth always comes out. You can hide the truth for a while, but you can't hide it forever. So anyway, let's pray, and we are going to jump into Scripture about truth. I already have my, I think I actually shared this last year uh, in July. So I guess that word, that word was on my mind then too. So, let's go ahead and pray. Let's jump into prayer. I guess this camera is going to, I guess it's going to work. I don't know. God, we just come to you and we just thank you. We are so thankful, God, to be your children. We are so thankful that you give us your word, that your word is full of truths. That, God, you give us the Holy Spirit that will help us discern truth from lies. God, that you just make it so apparent what is truth and what is not truth. And God, we just thank you. We uh, thank you for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us. And we just uh, praise you for protection and provision and for just helping us um, navigate through last year and this year too, God. This year has already been a strange year. But God, we know, we know that you are, you are the truth, God. And we know that you are going to lead us in the way of the truth. And God, we just pray for the sick. We just pray that you would heal their bodies. And we pray for their families too. We pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth. <laughs> to the truth. <laughs> And that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. We also pray for the prodigals, God. The prodigal sons and daughters. There's many out there, God. We just pray that they would repent. And that they would return to a relationship with you. We pray for all the disasters. We pray for the people today, God, in New Zealand that had the um, really, really... Um, 
intense earthquake that was like 8.1 on the scale and the tsunami warning that was uh, issued out to Hawaii. God, we just pray for these people. We just pray that you would help them get to safety. That God, we know that um, either you were shaking the earth trying to get people's attention or something else is shaking the earth, God. We just pray for these people. We just pray for them to be protected. We pray, God, for um, all the people that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them, that they would feel your presence at this time. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so we are going to talk about truth. And like I said, I looked these up July the 9th of last year. Because apparently I was thinking about truth then, that truth will rise above the lies. Truth will rise over lies. That's, that's uh, something that God woke me up with on this day, on July the 9th. And... Uh, I was unable to have sound on my other camera, so I'm, I'm listening, I have an extra phone, I'm listening to music on it. Okay, so let's see what is first on this list. Okay, Psalm 15.1. It says 15.1 through question mark, so I might have read the whole thing. We'll just see. I'm listening to Good God Almighty by Crowder. Such a good song. Good God. So many good songs. I can't, I, I would love to have them in the background, but when I do that, then they mute my videos on Facebook, so I can't do that. But I can tell you what I'm listening to. So maybe you can look it up on YouTube and you can listen to it also. Very good song. Okay, Psalm 15 says, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that backbiteth not with his tongue nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is condemned. But he honoreth them that fear the Lord. He that sweareth to his own hurt, and changeth not. He that putteth not out his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Okay, so... He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. So we need to have the truth in our heart. We need to um, walk uprightly. We're not ever going to be perfect, but we can strive to be the very best that we can. And when we fail, we need to repent. We need to ask for forgiveness. Okay, so Psalm 25, 5. Twenty-five five says, Lead me in truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Uh, remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old remember not the sins of my youth nor my transgressions according to thy mercy remember thou me for the for thy goodness sake O god good and upright is the lord therefore will he teach sinners in the way okay so lead me in thy truth so we need to be led in the truth we need to be led in the truth. And this, this 
is the truth. This is the truth. God's word is the truth. Okay. Psalm 119.30. This phone over here is annoying because it just keeps telling me the apps that I don't even have open have closed. This is why I got this phone that I'm doing Facebook on. It was because this one kept annoying me. I had to restart it several times during the day to keep it connected to the internet. Okay. Remove me from the way of lying and grant me thy law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. I have stuck unto thy testimonies. O Lord, put me not to shame. I will run the way of thy commandments when thou shalt enlarge my heart. And then 33 says, Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep it unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me to go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Incline my heart unto thy testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from, the be from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant, who is devoted to thy fear. Turn away my reproach which I fear, for thy judgments are good. Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me in thy righteousness. So, I, lo I read so much I lost my place. So 119, Psalm 119, 30 says, I have chosen the way of truth. Thy judgments have I laid before me. So this, God's word, is the way of truth. God's word is the way of truth. Okay, so next would be... John. There's several in John. Well, there's two in John. Hmm. Yeah. John 4.24 says this. Now I'm listening to Another in the Fire by Hillsong. I like that song too. I've been trying out some songs for youth. I, I don't want to bombard them with 20 new songs, but I do want to add some new songs this year when we start back. Okay, so um, John 4 I went too far. John 4 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And it says, um, well, I'm going to read, I'm going to start in 22. No, I'm going to start in, yeah, I'm going to start in 22. Ye worship, ye know not what, we know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And you know, when we worship God, we should worship Him in a manner that He feels reverenced. Because He is. <laughs> we do need to reverence Him. He is holy. And um, where He receives all the glory, honor, and praise that He deserves. That is the way that we should worship. And also, we should worship to where 
our worship makes him smile. But we need to worship in spirit and in truth. So again, truth. Truth is what we're talking about. We're talking about truth. I kept I kept messing up a while ago when I was doing this for Facebook and I kept saying trust. But trust wasn't the word that I woke up thinking about. It was truth. Because especially the last two weeks, there's so much. We're being bombarded with so much. Some of it's true, some of it's not. We have to discern which is true and which is not true. So that is our job. And the Holy Spirit will help us do that too. I started to put on my other video, I had these letters falling down, um, like letters that you write and email. And I thought, wow, that's just like the truth and the lies coming together, coming at the same time. And you're having to discern, okay, what is true and what is not true? What lines up with this? This is what I measure it up against. What lines up with God's Word? Okay. So let's read um, John 8, 31 through 32. Now I'm listening to Rise Up by Cain. Such a good song. I like it too. Trying to find some upbeat songs that we can clap to. Okay, 8, 31 through 32. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So knowing the truth makes us free. Knowing the truth, we're not bonded to a bunch of lies. We're bonded to the truth. So when we know the truth, then we're free. We're free. Okay. Now I'm listening to Jericho by Andrew Rip. That's a good song too. Like I said, when I first started doing this, I would just have my music playing in the background, but then got to where they were muting my videos because I guess because I wasn't like putting all the stuff in my video, which would take a long time because during the course of this, I listened to like 20 or 25 different songs. Okay, so John, where'd that go? 14.6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. So Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the truth. He is the truth. Okay, let me see what is next on this list. Sorry. There's a beat. I can't be still. I like to dance. Okay. Um, well, I don't apologize. I just, you know, that is something that the Holy Spirit connects me with music. And like I shared, I think last night, there are some songs that I just am not connected to. And then there are songs that I'm really connected to. Okay. Ephesians. I think Ephesians is next on this list. I may have to backtrack because I may be wrong. Ephesians 4, 15 says this, But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. 
All right, I'm going to skip back up to 14 because I like that too. That we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, but the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. So we need to be following Jesus. We don't need to be following other people. We don't need to be following the world. We don't need to be following the religions that do not preach and teach Jesus. We need to be following Jesus. Jesus is the truth. And He is the head. He is the head of the church. He is the head of our pastors. We are very blessed. Our pastor teaches and preaches out of the Bible. And you can just sit there and you can follow along every word. So we are so blessed. But there are churches that do not do that. And their congregants believe everything that they say. And a lot of times it's their opinion and it's not even in the word. That's why I really try to find scriptures to go with the word of the day. I'm just going to start saying the word of the day because that seems to be what I get lately is a word of the day or a song of the day. That's what I get from God. And I know it comes from Him because it's like the first thought I have when I get up in the morning. And so I know it comes from Him. Okay, Ephesians. Uh, okay. Yes, Philippians is next. 4 8. In Philippians says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned, and received, and heard, and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. So we are to keep our minds on these things, whatever's true, whatever's honest, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good report, whatever has virtue, and um, that is what we are to concentrate on as Christians, as followers of Christ, that is what we are to do, is to we need to walk in the truth. We are children of the truth, and we need to walk in the truth. And I'm not saying that I have never lied, because I have. But um, we need to try to not lie, just tell the truth. The truth is always better. Because this is what I see about lies. They're constantly changing. They do not stay the same. The truth is the truth. It's never going to change. It is always the truth. But lies, people can't remember what they said. Or, well, what did I say to this person? What did I say to that person? What is that? You know, they're always changing. The truth never changes. It's always the same. Always. And that's what I have learned about lies, is that they are always shifting and changing. And I have lots of doubt about a lot of things that we have been through over the last two years because scenarios were always shifting and changing. I'm not going to say what, what I'm talking about. Most people will get it without me having to say it. We are, we are censored and we can't speak our minds. So... Um, Anyway, those, those things changed constantly. And so my trust and my belief that all was truth is, I just don't, I just don't believe it. Okay. So let's move on to 2 Timothy 2.15.
There is Power in the Name of Jesus uh, by Lincoln Brewster is what I'm listening to right now. Okay, 2 Timothy. I went too far. Went too far again. Got to turn back. 2 Timothy 2.15 is study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly divided the word of truth and then above that of these things put them in remembrance charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit but to the subverting of the hearers Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So again, the word of truth. God's word is the word of truth. Okay, so now I have a bunch of first Johns and one third John so first John 1 6 and if you think of another verse that you think goes with this then please put it in the comments it might just be that I did not find it if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. So we need to walk in the light. And if we are walking in the darkness, then we are not doing the truth. We need to walk in the light. We are the children of the light. We are the children of the truth. God's children should know truth. God's children should be seeking out truth. God's children should be able to discern truth from lies through the Holy Spirit. But I, I think all of us get fooled from time to time. And maybe it's because we want to believe what we're being told. And it may or may not be true. Okay, 1 John 3.18 says that, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, <clears throat> neither in tongue, sorry, but in deed and in truth. So we are to love in truth. And hereby we know that we are of the truth, and shall assure our hearts before him for in our heart condemn us God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things so we are to love in truth and deed And we know that we are of the truth. We, if we are part of Jesus, then we are part of the truth. If we are part of God, then we are part of the truth. If we are part of the Holy Spirit, if we have the Holy Spirit living here, we are part of the truth. We are the children of truth. We need to walk in truth and not lies. 3 John 1 4 is the last one. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou do doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers. All right, I'm going to skip back up to three. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. 
Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers. So we need to walk in truth. And if you heard this lesson on July the 9th and you're like, I already heard this, then maybe I can make it a little bit different. I don't know. I did, um, how oh, I forgot to do this. Um, I don't think it's going to work. Unless I can get it over there. No. I need to... <laughs> I need to go up here behind this camera. Alright, well I'm just going to pick it up. Sorry. I'm not the best at this. This is not... This is not what I grew up to do. Is this. I probably covered up the this camera for a while okay now I got a split screen now we got it going on I'm gonna put that back all right you see both cameras okay so this is the song that um, well why is that doing that Ugh. Why isn't it going all the way down? That's weird. Alright. Oh, there we are. Because I was somewhere else. On my page. I'm not surprised. Okay. Let's see here. Alright. Here it is. But now I gotta stretch this so I can read it. So I can't read it. Oh, thank you for your patience. I'm sorry that I am so pretty much not all that um, tech savvy. But you know, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Just that's kind of how I learn. Is I learn by doing. And uh, it's kind of how it was in my job. I was self-taught. And so I would go, oh, I wonder if this will work. And I would try it. Then if it would work, I'd go, well, I guess that works. I guess that's a shortcut. Um, so it's kind of how I do this too. I'm self-taught. I didn't. Okay. So I'm going to read this. So I shared the song today. Um, what is the name of this song? Sorry. Truth Be Told by Matthew West, which I really like Matthew West. Got to meet him one time. He is very, very genuine, very nice, very nice guy, very nice brother. Um, okay. And so I woke up with the thought of truth on my mind. Word of the day. This song and message by Matthew West fits. I love the lyrics of this song. I have been hearing it on top 20 Christian hits uh, on iHeart. I love the truth in this song. It really fits with what we have been through and continue to go through last year and this year too. I know in my life there have been so many times where I'm saying I'm fine good or great when the truth is I am broken inside dealing with such hardships I think we are all like this to an extent there are few people in our circles that we can trust with our hardships please don't think that I have it all together because I definitely do not I do have a place to go with my problems and I can fully trust him that's God with all of my truths because truth be told, he already knows every detail of my feelings and what he is walking me through. I believe that we go through hard things to learn, to grow spiritually, and to help others. Truth never changes. It is constant. It never shifts either. This is how we discern truth from lies. There are so many lies, but all the truth surfaces soon. 
white lies are still lies according to God. So if you think that you're just telling this little white lie, well, to God it's a lie. And so I just wouldn't do it. It's not worth it. Also, a lot of times when we do get when we do lie and we get caught in a lie, it really does uh, uh, work against our integrity. You know, people don't trust you as much. So just try not to lie. It is not worth it. It's just not. Uh, so tell the truth all the time. The truth always wins. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is coming to get his church and usher us into heaven soon. So be ready. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only Son that, excuse me, that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus is your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Leave the old, receive the new. So I just wanted to share that because um, sometimes when I write things in the mornings, I forget what I've written because I sincerely am writing through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is letting me know what message needs to go with that song. And that song is so true. We tell people that we're fine and we're not. We're not fine. But God does know. He knows all the truth. We cannot hide anything from God. He sees and hears everything. He knows our deepest, darkest secret. Don't think that God does not know your deepest, darkest secret because He does. And He cares and He wants to help you with it. Whatever it is, He wants to help you with it. He wants you to overcome this deepest, darkest secret that you hide from Him. He wants you to overcome it because He wants better. He wants better for all of us. All of us He wants better for. Okay, how do we want to do the salvation message tonight? My friend Josie did not come and join me tonight. So I am alone. I guess maybe we will do a ticket to heaven. I really... I need to get me some more things like this. You know, just different ones. Maybe find some that go with my lesson every time. Okay, so this is a ticket to heaven. And it says admit one. Because you can't get in heaven because your family saved. Every individual has to choose. Everyone has to make this decision. So this is another good news track like this one. Like this one that I did, I think, last night. Step to Pieces with God. Um, steps to Peace with God. Steps to Peace with God. I can't read. Um, but these are, this one's really old. I've had it for a while. And then this one's new. So let's read it. Your ticket to heaven. May I offer you a ticket to heaven? You don't have to pay for it, and that's a good thing, because you could never afford to buy it. It's free, but only because someone has already paid the ultimate price for it. God loves you and not only wants you to have a fulfilling life on earth, He also wants you to live with Him in heaven forever. He's the one who offers you a paid-in-full ticket. No one wants to go to hell where, where there will be no joy and no pleasures whatsoever. And God doesn't want anyone to go there either. The Bible says that God is not wishing that any should perish. 2 Peter 3, 9 But there is a problem with getting that free ticket. We have all done wrong. We have all sinned, haven't we? Yes, we have. We have. God's Word says... 
if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. 1 John 1, 8. Sin pollutes. It makes us unclean, unfit for God's presence in that wonderful, perfect place called heaven. Sin penalizes. It separates us from a sin, sinless God. For the wages of sin is death. Romans 6, 23. In short, our sinfulness blocks the delivery of the ticket that we need to get into heaven. So, who paid for it? There's good news. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to earth to be born and to live his life without sin. He suffered once for our sins, the righteous one for the unrighteous, all of us, that he might bring us to God. 1 Peter 3.18 When God laid on him the iniquity sins of us all, Isaiah 53.6 Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And that's in Mark 15.34 The answer is simple and profound. Jesus was separated from God because he took your place and mine on the cross. And by dying, he paid in full the wages our sins had earned. Then he rose from the dead, was seen by hundreds of people, and is alive today so you can know him and receive the gift of eternal life, your ticket to heaven. That's right, the Bible says to all who did receive him, Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. John 1.12 that is awesome. You can become a new person born of God to start a brand new life that pleases God. And of course, all God's children have a ticket to heaven. Sorry, my eye itches. Do you want it? It is no accident you were given this offer of a ticket to heaven. God has made sure you can receive it. The whole issue is, did Jesus pay for all of your sins or didn't he? God said he did. Trust God that it is so. Whoever believes in the Son of God has eternal life. John 3.36 Just as a man says, yes, I will take this woman to be my wife, God wants you to tell him, yes, I will take Jesus to be my Savior. I believe that he is the only way to heaven. The Bible says, Whoever has the Son, Jesus, has life. 1 John 5, 12 If you believe that God's way to heaven is the only way, you can claim your ticket by telling God in words like these. So this is a prayer. This is a very simple prayer. And so I'm going to leave some space so you can repeat after me. Dear God, I have sinned. I know I have offended you in many ways. I am so sorry. I believe that Jesus suffered and died for my sins, paid my debt in full, and rose again. Jesus, I believe in you and thank you for what you've done for me. Please save me from the penalty of my sins and give me a new birth and the power to live for you. Thank you for this offer to spend eternity with you. In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. So remember what John 3.36 says, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Do you now believe in Jesus as your Savior? 
your only ticket to heaven? Do you have everlasting life like God said? Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to God except through Jesus, his son. So if you said this prayer, and that is John 14, 6. We read that tonight. And so if you believe, if you said this prayer and you were sincere about this prayer and you invited Jesus into your heart to be your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing in heaven and they are writing your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son. And when Jesus comes, you will be in heaven with Him. So you just received your ticket to heaven. So all God's children have a ticket to heaven. And that is the truth. That if we have Jesus, we have salvation. So, um, all right. It is time to read my quiet time this morning. Wasn't a very long one. So I said, Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child. A new day to get more done also. And I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings. Excuse me, I keep burping. New opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day to get more done also. Thank you for every blessing and for provision. Forgive me for my complacency. Help me to do better, please. And he said, Child, so much happens today, so be aware of what is going on as you work. Much truth will surface today, so be ready to hear all of it. Trust my plans only. Cling to my truth. I woke you up thinking about truth. So this is the theme for today. So this is my word of the day, is truth. Share my scriptures of truth. Truth is mentioned so many times because it is so important. My children are the children that walk in truth. The others walk in lies and darkness. Truth is light. Lies are darkness. Truth always wins and surfaces to the top. Lies are constantly changing and shifting like the father of lies they come from. I only stand with truth. I know the truth about all of my children. Nothing is hidden from me. I know all the truth about those that lie and think they are hiding what they do in secret. I know all and nothing is hidden from me. I know all truths. I am the righteous judge that will rain my wrath on the unrighteous that lie. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to me except through him. All must choose to accept or reject him. Time is running out for them to choose. And I said, I see all of this more and more this year. The liars claim they are speaking truth, but I know they are not because I have spiritual discernment through the Holy Spirit. These great against my spirit. I can't listen to their lies. This is me speaking. I seek only truth. I know all total truth is in your word. Their lies do not line up with your word. Their actions do not line up with your word either. I will share about your truth tonight, God. Only your truths matter. Thank you for meeting with me this morning, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient in all I ask. Make today another productive day and enjoy my blessings. Child, the reunion is soon and all truth reigns here all the time. So in heaven, there are no lies. 
it's all truth. All truth reigns in heaven. That is so exciting. That's we won't have to discern the truth from a lie because it'll all be truth. I will choose this day and it will be so beautiful to see all of you home again away from the sinful world. All love, joy, peace here. And I said, Maranatha, God. I'm ready to fly out of here. I don't know whether you are or not. But I am. And so we have come to the end of um, our lesson about truth. And like I said, if there's anything about anything that I said, please put it in the comments, okay? And I will look to see if there's any comments. I don't every day, but, you know, usually about once a week, I'll go back through my videos and I'll see if there's any comments. As far as knowing that you came and watched, I don't know who did that. I don't know who watches and who doesn't watch. I don't know anyway but that's okay you know why because God knows and I'm doing this for God I'm not doing it for me I'm doing it in obedience to him I quit my job in 2018 to do ministry for him uh, I thought we were going to do public speaking but because of COVID that just really didn't work out so maybe in the future I don't know maybe somebody will see the video and they'll go hey Maybe she could come and speak. I'm not a great speaker. It is not my comfort zone. But I will do it if God calls me to do it. Because I want to be obedient to Him. So, let me give you God's blessing. Because it is not mine. It is from God. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26. There's another good song from Matthew West called Live Forever. Very good song. He's a great songwriter. Okay, but there are lots. There are lots of great. I listen to all kinds of Christian music. But I only listen to Christian music. I don't want any of that other stuff in my mind or in my heart. I want it to stay with Christian music. I want to be uplifted. I don't want to be depressed. I want to be uplifted. Okay, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Yes. God wants to bless us. But God wants us to walk in truth. God wants us to seek His Word. God wants us to pray every day. God wants us to be, to have some time to listen to Him. That doesn't have to be all day. My, I mean, my quiet time's probably 30 minutes or so, maybe 45. But I do several things. I do, I have devotionals that I do, and I pray. And then I stop and I listen. And then I pray again. So your quiet time can be your own. Just read God's word. Pray. Find you some praise and worship music that you like. Listen to it. Praise and worship God. Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Every day. Um, it's time to pray. I think I did everything that I came to do. These are my notes from yesterday about a new day. Okay. So let's go ahead and pray. God, we just we just pray, God, and we're so thankful for your truth. Please help us to walk in truth always. Help us to use the Holy Spirit to give us discernment. Uh, between truth and lies some we're bombarded with things every day all day and it's so hard to figure out what's true and what's not true God help us to spend more time in your word help us to spend more time in your presence help us to testify about the things that you've done in our lives so that we can encourage others I just want to lift up all the sick people that I have on my heart 
tonight, God, that you would just heal their bodies, that you would give them strength, that you would be with their families, God. And I thank you that my husband is doing better. kind of thought today I might have what he had. Maybe I have somewhat of what he had. I don't know. I don't want it. But anyway, I just thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We are so thankful for who you are. You are the great Jehovah. You are the great I Am. You are our Creator, God. You are our Sustainer, our Provider, our Protector. You are our Shelter, God. And we only need you. We only need your truth. And they will not silence us, God, because they cannot silence our hearts. They might can silence our lips, but you know what? They can't silence my mind. Because it's all in my mind and it's all in my heart. So I just pray, God, that you would give us the boldness to share your truths and to share the gospel of Jesus at every opportunity that we have. Help us to be strong and courageous going forward, walking with Jesus every day. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, my pray in, uh, uh, my prayer in share warriors. I have to say that really, really have my warrior bracelet on today I got that at um, oh, what is that lady's name at a concert I bought this I have my unashamed bracelet on I make these I actually have the got some of this too I'm gonna start selling them I'm gonna have to make some ahead I have lots of bracelets made but they're mine I make this too and I don't know what to do with the knot yet. i got to figure that out. It's just something that I learned last year. Um, out of not being able to go anywhere. I started making jewelry. So I really enjoy it. I haven't done it in a while because I've been out of supplies. But I got me some of this leather stuff. So I'm going to start making some more. I may make a warrior one. I like the one words. I like the one words or two words. They just look better. Alright. Well, enough of that. <laughs> so, God bless all of you and your families. Have an awesome rest of your night. Gotta go take care of my child. And an awesome tomorrow. Much love and cyber hugs. And good night.